we got disability. Normal persons, they think they, we don't understand what we're talking about and they treat us different, call us spastic, but we have right to say. And that's why I decided to do art. I live on my own step. I'm independent. Six years I've been living on my own. Scratches. Yeah, my little kitten. Yes, yeah, she was. Three years ago, my mum passed away. Stiggy away is part of my family now. I haven't got any parents at all. They're my family. Lisa is a very brave artist at Studio A. She's a bold, punchy, colourful artist who works in diverse art forms. But then Lisa has this other side of her art practice, which is interested in exploring some of the darker areas of life. So for instance, skulls are a consistent theme through her painting work. And also in her autobiographical work, Lisa is interested in exploring some of the more shadowy areas of her life and sharing those areas with audiences. When I was younger, I was really emotional. And about since I was 13, I started writing to When I come home after studio A, I sit down and write it. Every day and every night, it makes me feel much better and, yeah. My name's Stella Rose McDonald, and I'm a writer, curator, and artist. Mm -hmm. In my own practice as an artist, I use text as a medium. Are you still writing? Yes. Morning. So I started working with Lisa in 2017 to look at her writing and try and tease out the biggest stories for her. Like your mum? Yep. Her relationship with her mother, her home life, where she lives, and her work at Studio A, and figure out how we could tell that story through art. When we started working together, you were telling me about why you wanted to tell your story. Because some normal people, they don't have this building. Mm. Spread the words out to tell them how we feel about mm. it. Ooh. <laughs> That's cool. So we were dealing with text and then we were looking at colour and a way to translate the, her story visually. And so I asked if she had any photos and she brought in a whole bunch of family photos. And in that was this beautiful picture of adolescent Lisa in a sort of prom style dress. And so it felt like a dress was a really fitting way to make such personal work, to bring it back to the body. Uh, this is the project I'm doing. Oh, I see now, it's in the shape of the dress. So when you chose what words to put on the dress, how did you choose them? I just choose different words and then I write it. From different pages? Yeah. I think you made a good choice, it's good. It's got a bit of everything in it, yeah. doesn't it? Your, your life now, your life with your mum. That's so beautiful, Lisa, I love that. I don't, the dressmakers have to sew the words on the dress. My mum took me to Mackay in Queensland. She was very young when she had me. Now I grew up start a new life. Cutting text out of its context makes more meaning in some ways because you're focusing the lens on a certain moment in time and furnishing it with colour and depth. 
You're going to do a bit more on here and then you'll be finished yeah. embroidery. Yeah. You've done really well. I'm a little bit nervous tonight. Show my work to people I have never met. It's going to be shocked. I've got a feeling. <laughs> So are those words directly from the diary? Yes. Okay, yes. sure. Art making, it's a language, and I can see the perceptions about our artists are changing, and that has ripple effects in society. Studio A artists are not people having simple engagements with the world, as some people might assume. I had to choose different colours, make sure. Like all of us, they're complex, multi-layered human beings, and I think that conveying that is one of the most powerful impacts that exhibiting their art has for the artists at Studio A. We're delighted to host this exhibition and it's wonderful to have you all here with us tonight. A big congratulations to you, Lisa. Lisa, congratulations. Lisa writes with great compassion and lots of hope. There's an emotional logic to Lisa's work which traces lines of inheritance between her childhood, her adulthood, and her future. Thank you for sharing your life with us. It's an important act and one that many artists can't do as fluidly and as beautifully as you do. Wow, I'm very proud of it. I want to keep doing it all my life. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs>